Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Theater Com video. We have some news concerning the Steam Machine prototypes, which Valve are going to be sending off to 300 odd lucky winners. So these machines are going to range massively in specifications, obviously to give different people uh, different experiences. Valve can do some internal testing and get some feedback on it. So on the GPU side of things, we're going to be seeing all of them running NVIDIA. Some are going to be utilizing the 4.5 teraflops from the NVIDIA Titan. Slightly lower down the line, you're going to be looking at the GTX 780. And then the GTX 760. And then finally, bringing up the rear, but still re with pretty damn respectable performance, the GTX 660. As for the CPU side of things, you're going to be looking at three. There's either the i7-4770, the i5-4570, or some i3. They haven't mentioned exactly which one. You're looking at 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. That's going to be of the 1600 type. Meanwhile, if you're wondering, all of the graphics cards are going to come equipped with 3 gigabytes of of GDDR5 memory. Obviously the memory bandwidth is going to be dependent upon the card that it's attached to, obviously. Um, and simply enough. As for storage, you're going to be looking at a hybrid. It's going to be one terabyte with eight gigabytes um, and that's a hybrid SSHD. As for the power supply, you're looking at a 450 watt 80 plus gold PSU. And as for dimensions, approximately 12 by 12.5 by 2.9. They have also given us a series of quotes. As a hardware platform, the Steam ecosystem will change over time, so any upgrades will be to the user's discretion. In the future, we'll talk about how Steam will help customers understand the difference between the machines, hardware strengths, weaknesses, and upgrade decisions. We aren't quite ready yet to picture our prototype just because they're not finished enough. Before they ship, we'll let you know what the prototype looks like, and we expect people to redesign the machines too. Both from a technical perspective, deciding on different components, and from an industrial design perspective, to changing the enclosure in interesting ways. This design is not meant to serve the needs for all of the tens of millions of Steam users. It may, however, be used to kind of the machines that are a significant percentage of the Steam users would actually want to purchase. Those who want plenty of performance in a high-end living room package. Many others would opt for machines to have been carefully designed to cost less or to be tiny or super quiet. And there will be Steam machines to fit those descriptions so just to clarify obviously a lot of pc hardware enthusiasts will actually well modify their own boxes this could be anything from putting custom designs and stickers on there to actually utilizing completely random components um, or should i say random containers anything from lunch boxes all the way down to living room tables to old machines like I've seen someone make it out of an original Xbox, for example, and people will just utilize that for their PC hardware. Other people, of course, will be putting in massive water cooling so they can ludicrously overclock their systems, or they'll be going the roots of even more extreme cooling. Other people, of course, want super quiet systems, the kind of systems which you're never going to be able to hear. And I imagine one of the benefits of the really cheap and quiet noiseless systems is going to be quite simple let's say that all you want to do is stream let's say you've already got a high powered gaming machine and all you want to do is be able to stream those games from the living room which of course steam is going to allow you to do then that's absolutely fantastic news for you because you're going to be able to very simply very easily create a box or just choose off the shelf components or just go to um, steam and just order whatever the machine it is and simply be able to stream your titles, and I really like this. I think this is really awesome. I think it gives a good indication of where Steam and Valve are coming to the living room, and I think it's going to be a fantastic experience for everyone involved. Anyway, with all of that said, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.